Hi, my name is Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. Um, this is an additional video to the normal weekly one I'm putting out and that's because I'm joining in with Team Seas to try to help reduce plastic in our oceans. So Team Seas is a whole load of YouTubers including Mark Rober and Mr Beast who are putting out a video today, Friday the 29th of October to try to raise awareness of the amount of rubbish in our seas. Team Seas is trying to raise 30 million dollars to remove 30 million pounds of rubbish from our oceans. Aside from obviously donating to the cause, I thought I'd run through the kind of things that as outdoor swimmers we can do to help reduce the uh, rubbish that gets into our seas. Follow along with me. I'm down at my local beach of Kelshop where the New Forest District Council has put out this trailer which I've been standing in front of with messages about picking up your litter when you go home. What I'm going to do is grab one of the bags from their little um, dispenser and take it with us on a bit of a beach clean. Rubbish bag in hand, we're ready. When I say we, I am getting pulled around by little Miss Cookie down here who is desperate for a walk. Let's go. I'm just down by the marshes at Kelshot overlooking the water sports area and it is a triple SI area which means site of special scientific interest so there's lots of little critters in there which we have to do as much as we can to save so whenever I come down here I do try to do a bit of a litter pick but I thought I'd take you through what I take with me pretty much on every swim uh, either in my tow float or attached to it let's take a little look So one thing I take is this fourth element um, mesh bag for collecting rubbish. Let me just open that up for you. So the bag looks like this and as you saw it wraps up into this little tiny pouch and it has a clip on the end and I clip that onto my tow float so that I can tow it along. I have found that when I'm using this to collect rubbish it's really important to try to get something in there that floats so that it doesn't kind of get in your way when you're swimming but sadly enough there's almost always a plastic bottle that you can find which will give it the buoyancy you need. Another thing I do is I carry a bread bag so I've always got a bread bag in a pocket either a coat pocket or in my tow float for when I'm walking the dog or when I'm heading in actually walking into my swim and I use that as a uh, as a rubbish bag. I do tend to only use it once um, because I don't wash it out, I just put it in the bin full of litter that I picked up along the way. The final thing I have is this uh, funny looking object which is um, made from fishing nets and it is a foldable litter picker and it's really quite short when it's folded up. I'll just show you how long it is. So probably the length of my forearm and this is how it uh, unfolds it slots together really easily and uh, has got the usual grabby thing on the end so this I can either take uh, attached to the top of my toe float if I can secure it well or I might just use it for the walk in but I find it's really nice and small and compact and it's really really useful and um, uh, Waterhold sent it to me to test and I'm really thankful for that. In terms of reducing ocean litter myself, um, I try to make sure that I live as sustainably as possible. So I try to use soap bars, um, shampoo bars, 
moisturiser bars rather than the plastic bottles just to reduce any chance that anything I've used is ending up in the sea. The other thing I do is I always use a refillable bottle. Um, I'm really quite offended by the by plastic bottles, single-use plastic bottles, so I try really hard to never have to use one. So the litter pick so far has revealed a glass uh, whiskey bottle or vodka bottle, a whole load of rope and bits of plastic, and so far one treasure, a boat hook, which is complete and extending. So um, that would be a good thing to recycle or upcycle. <sighs> it does sadden me that there's so much rubbish around and uh, I wish that everyone that I'd walk past who is just out having a nice walk and enjoying the scenery would pick up one or two pieces of litter um, and just take them and put them in a bin because I don't know how we're going to stop this tide but I'm hoping that you'll join me and do some too. I hope you've enjoyed this little introduction to Team Seas and it's piqued your interest enough to drop into the description and click on the links to see how you can get involved. If you did enjoy the video please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking on my face and dinging the little bell and joining me when the next one comes out and I'll see you next time. Bye!